playing a rebel, a guy who, you know, was in the milita ex-military who started a rock band called Samurai, protest music. It sounded like fun. <laughs> I met with CD Projekt Red in July of last year, uh, 2018, um, here in Los Angeles, and they uh, showed me a, a, a short demo and introduced me to the idea of um, playing the character Johnny Silverhand. And so they walked me through the concept of the game and some of the elements and the biography of the character, and uh, it sounded great to me, you know. I'm not a Johnny Silverhand lore expert. At the original time, I read a little bit, but for them, they weren't, they were like, be here now, like this is what we're doing. So maybe I need to brush up on that, but I don't know how much I'm at liberty to say. I think it's okay to say that there was a moment of maybe death. <laughs> um, and, but I'm still around. That's what I'm talking about. All right, in and out. They're letting me collaborate a little bit with just the tone and, and how would your version of Johnny say it, you know, and move. So going through the whole mocap was really great to, to be able to, to give a physical embodiment to the character, you know, and really personalize it. So that it, it, it was part of the attraction for me was that I was actually not only just my face, but, you know, like, they were asking me to perform a role and a cool one. So, and, and I really love the format of the game and, and some of the questions it asks and um, what's revealed and what it demands of the player. Uh, there's some interesting choices that have to get made. For me, the, the technology of motion capture has gotten a little quicker. It's a little, you know, sometimes it's a little, like when I first did face capture, I think it was like an array of cameras and it was like in a blacked out like in a tent and it was like, you know, it was like, it was a huge deal that there were five terabytes. They had five terabytes available to do this capture. And, and it was like, almost like, it felt like some like black, op, black ops thing. Like, okay, this is super secret hardware doing super secret tech stuff. And it probably was, right? We don't really know how long CG manipulation. Anyway, um, what was the point I got off track? Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. I've got a couple of people that I've worked with who have done voices in games, um, and I hadn't done that yet. For me, I was attracted to the storytelling, like the different versions, you know. It's kind of like not just choose your own end, but choose your own path in a weird way. I thought that was cool. Because there's so many multiple mass, multiple player games and you can play all over the world. This one's kind of like your own private, almost cinematic experience. Even reading, it's almost like literature in a weird way, right? Like you're participating in this open world, but it's your story, your choices. My character, Johnny, interacts with the, the role player, whoever's playing, uh, the character's name is V in the game. Um, and so there's a, I interact with the, whoever's playing that, um, and I'm part of their journey. Um, and, uh, but they're also a part of mine. So, you know, you know, see what happens. <laughs>